Welcome back, everybody, to another edition of our introduction to CAD drafting, 2D drawing. Today we're going to draw the special cam. This one should go pretty quickly. There's a lot of circles and radiuses, radii, <coughs> and uh, just a couple of quick things in through this one. Shouldn't take us too long to get through it. So we're going to start with an oval that goes the whole way around the outside here. We have an oval that is six and a half long in this direction and four and a quarter tall in this direction. Now CAD does have an oval tool and it asks us which one do we want to make. We have a center and using specified points so we can draw with that one. We'll start from the center, we'll work our way out in one direction and if we're looking in the horizontal direction we're looking for six and a half total and this starts from the center and moves to the outside so we need half of that distance. So half of six and a half is three and a quarter. So we're going to move out this way, 3.25, three and a quarter. And then in the tall direction, <clears throat> we are looking for four and a quarter. So half of four and a quarter is two and one eighth. So we'll move in this direction vertically, two and one eighth, two dash one slash eight. And that's our oval. So now we have a center of that oval and we can move off in that direction. Now, from the center, we can come over here and draw our hexagon and draw our circle that's on the left side of the drawing here. That's one and a half over to the center of both of these guys. So we'll draw from here, come over one and a half, and we'll just draw that line so that we know where this point is right here. Now we have a diameter circle that is two and three quarter center diameter 2.75 <clears throat> and now we also have a hexagon and um, we've done these a number of different ways we could come half this distance and array six times around but we can also use a um, polygon that is circumscribed inside this circle to make that one and a half inch diameter. So we will take a polygon tool here <coughs> and we will tell it the number of sides which is six, specify the center point of the polygon and then it says circumscribed about circle or inscribed in a circle. We're going to look about uh, doing the circumscribed about the circle and then it says specify the radius. So we're looking at a total of one and a half here our radius is going to be half of that, which will be three quarters of an inch. So we'll come with our flat spot straight down, 0.75, and there's our circle. Just to double check, we can go from one point to the other point and know that that is one and a half inches, just like this drawing, one and a half inches here. Okay, so we can get rid of this line for right now. Now we'll move off to the other side and we'll find the center of this line right here. And we don't have an, uh, a line from the center, but we do have one from the outside edge. So we'll come from the outside edge three quarters of an inch in with a line tool, 0.75. And that's the point where we will have a 5 eighths of an inch drill circle. And again, the drill signifies that it's a diameter. Come over here, 5 eighths of an inch diameter. And then we also need another larger circle that is a 3 quarters of an inch radius to come into this part. So we will draw a 3 quarter inch radius circle from the center of this guy. And that gives us a larger circle to there. Now those two line up right, which is good. Now we're going to draw these circles, these uh, lengths of a curve here, and that is a 3 and 5 eighths inch radius from down here. And again, because it tells us this one, but it doesn't tell us this one, we are to assume that this is going to be the same down here. So we'll draw a 3 and 5 eighths inch radius circle from the lowest quadrant point right here. So we'll grab a radius circle. Grab our quadrant point, three and five eighths of an inch, three dash five slash eight. 
That gets me this top circle here. I can copy this circle from the center point and I can move it up here. And now we have both of those circles. And let's trim them up a little bit just to get them cleaned up so we don't have to look at all the extra weird curves that are going all, our, all the way around here. Don't need any of these pieces those pieces and we don't need these pieces just need these parts of the curves in here I'll delete that little line there <coughs> almost done now we have a half inch radius inside here and a quarter inch radius inside here and what we're going to do is use the fillet tool to draw those there's, uh, hypothetically, you can use the tangent tangent radius tool to make them, but that's a couple more clicks than just using a fillet. So we'll just go to the fillet tool. First thing we do before we do anything with the fillet tool is tell it what radius we want. We need a 0.5 inch radius, and we're going to go um, make sure the trim is turned on. We're going to go from this guy to that guy. And then we're going to hit spacebar and do it again on that side. That trims those guys up. Now we need to come over here. We're going to do fillet again, but we're going to change the radius to 0.25. And now we'll radius the inside of these two and the inside of these two. What that does for us is allows us to trim off the rest of this circle over here that section and that section and that should be it we got all of our circles all of our internals everything looks the way it should